Hi, I'm Noah Scalen. I'm Alfonso Perez. And we are on the 300 block of East Broad Street in Richmond, Virginia. In front of our mural, Together We Rise. It's part of the Mending Walls original project. Hamilton Glass, who put together the Mending Walls project, he selected the artists to work together. So we knew each other before, but we'd never actually collaborated on any artwork before. And so we were both like, how do we navigate this? Because I remember that most of the artists that were paired were black and white. And so for us, it was like, well, we're not black. But I remember that from the beginning, even before the project, for me, the whole situation was about racism and not black and white. The purpose was to really respond to the murder of George Floyd and all the energy that people were feeling around how do we you know, change our city, change our country, how do we do things differently, and how can art address that? And then the process of conceptualizing was actually having conversations about what is it that we feel around this and what is it that we want to do about what's happening right now. I guess the other piece is we wanted to show something that acknowledged the moment but also gave some hope and some suggestion of how we might move forward. The idea kind of cooked very well once I saw my daughters actually doing this post. I was really kind of looking for an image where you could see people building trust or people like helping each other. I sketched it super quickly and the next day I showed it to you and Noah's like, okay, that's it. <laughs> and that pose really was indicative of like, okay, we've got to work together. We've got to support each other. This doesn't happen just with one side or an individual. And so that really made sense. The writing that's in the background, these were emulating these ghost ads that are on buildings around Richmond. So it's like old advertisements that have faded over time. So part of it was to say, this isn't brand new. This didn't just happen in 2020. This is a long history, especially in Richmond. And so we wanted to just state clearly the messages. Number one, Black Lives Matter. Like we just stated outright. Number two, we need to talk, which was the motto of the Mending Walls Project. And then number three, since we were talking about immigration and Spanish language, the Mi Casa Su Casa statement, was emblematic of what we wanted to say. People came up and asked, well, what, what's the title? And, oh, we don't have one. And, yeah, we don't have one. <laughs> yeah, and this guy said, well, I got one for you. It was a little bit oh, different, he said, I, I think, think. He said, we rise together. We rise together. Yeah, he rise said, together. we rise together. And it was like, okay, well, let me tell him. And then, yeah, then we talked, guess it was what? Like, yeah. I guess it. that's it, we did it. Which makes it even better that the community yeah, yeah, yeah. participated yeah. and just said, here's your title. But that meant they got it. I also remember people reacting or, or coming in a little bit more because of the end, because of the last little word that says end. And so it was about, okay, who, who, who's next? And, and, yeah. and that word being there made people a little bit more curious and they were like just coming in and talking to us about it and just having a little bit of a, I don't know, like a more interesting conversation just because of that. We wanted to leave it open-ended and sadly, I mean, we knew that this wasn't the last moment that we were going to have to have this conversation and that there would be an endless, hopefully not endless, but many more names would be added if, if we continued. I think collaborating for this one back in 2020 was really good and was really like the beginning of something else. A friendship for us, definitely, you know, we meet and we talk and we, we want to do more things. And it was also about the way that we are able to organize ideas around situations that are happening in the city or in the state and put that out there for people to connect with that and open some messages or open some experiences for them that we can do together that we might not do on our own. So. Collaborating, for me at least, it's been a lot about knowing that we have that power together that we might not have on an individual basis. Not to say that we're not good artists individually, but there's something else that happens when we, when we get together. I couldn't have been happier with the experience. And I think at that moment, you know, as artists, we, we care deeply about what's happening in the world or deeply affected by it, and we want to do something. And so being given this opportunity to express ourselves this way was important in that moment. But what I love is that here we are all these years later, and there's bicycle tours that stop here and have conversation about it, that people still bring it up, still talk about it. And so it's having this ongoing impact. That's amazing. You couldn't ask for more. And then, yes, to create this ongoing partnership between us where we're coming up with new ideas of how we could continue to collaborate because we like that so much and create more work together uh, is really exciting.